Hello everyone, welcome back to the Opulent Life. Today we have another fragrance review based on um, the pattern we've been following. I don't unbox right away. I am actually using the fragrance for a few days before I do the unboxing and review. So this is a post usage unboxing and review. And today's fragrance is the Paco Rabanne 1 million regular original version. Now, there have been a lot of flankers for this one that have come out, but today we're going to do the original because I've personally not used it and since it came out in 2009, I believe. And it is, it has been a, a huge hit. Actually, I'm going to correct myself. It arrived in 2008, not nine. And it's been a huge hit since it came out. And there have been lots of flankers for this one. It's kind of becoming more played out because the Invictus line has kind of taken over and there's others that are coming out that are more popular these days like Dior Salat, Versace Eros and some others. But I still think that this is really good and it draws just the right amount of attention that you need and uh, overall performance is great. When things start getting more, uh, played out, they are replaced. And then what happens is after those new things are you know becoming the new sensation you tend to miss the old stuff you know and this is where why i still think that this still has a place in today's perfume uh you know market and uh, that's why i decided to go for it so here it is one million and you can see the gold packaging throughout uh reflecting the one million uh richness you don't have anything on the top or the sides on just on the front you have one million and paco Rabanne. it's a 100 ml bottle you have uh, the ingredients on the back, made in France. You have batch code, barcode, everything on the bottom. Let's take it out and see. Need a typical packaging, and here it is. The bottle itself looks like a bar of gold. Very cheesy for some guys, but I actually like this uh, design packaging. I think Paco Rabanne comes out with some really different, really. Uh, nice bottle design some people find it cheesy and i think that there's nothing wrong with being a bit different and uh rather than having a typical spray bottle with a cap you want to do something different with integrated sprayers that's that's fine that's that's fine by me uh you know i i love designs that are kind of different from the norm so here it is it's a like a gold bar you're holding one one million dollars in your hand basically you have an integrated sprayer over here and yeah, let's try it out. First, let's talk about the bottle before I try it out. You have glass on the sides over here. It's dark brown glass, and you can see dark brown liquid possibly. Let me hold it up a little bit better. So maybe you can see it. Yeah, there it is. You can see a little bit of a dark brown ambery liquid inside. At the bottom, again, it's glass. You have uh, some notes here where it's been manufactured. Let me see if I can read that. Uh, made in France. Yeah, made in France. There you go. So this is how it looks like from the back, sides and bottom. Let's give it a whiff, shall we? I think this one also has very good projection, so let's give it a shot. Make sure you guys can see. Very good, very good. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I love this one, this is so good. Now I'm gonna read the notes out for you guys that you know what is in it. This is also another sweet fragrance, great for fall winter and even summer i would say you know summer evenings would be evening uh, you can use it in daytime and evening evening is where it really shines you know often was used often as a and still used as a clubbing fragrance so i would say in summers evening would be the best time to use it and fall winter pretty much any time of the day would be great spring not so sure if it'd be great for that but if you want maybe the evenings of spring so the top notes on this one are blood mandarin, grapefruit, and mint. You can definitely sense that in the opening. The middle you have cinnamon, spicy notes, which I can definitely uh, uh, sense in here. And you have rose as well. And the base you have amber, leather, woody notes, and some Indian patchouli. And these are, again, all notes that I can easily detect in here. I could don't even need to look at the note breakdown and tell you that it contains all this. So again, very spicy very cool very it's it's the right balance of cool and warm and that really uh, you know wins wins my wins my vote for sure it's very sweet and i've begun to like sweet fragrance a little bit more than i used to i was always the guy who loved fresh fragrances citrus 
and sandalwood. Now I've become more drawn towards sweeter fragrance, which is kind of odd because you typically tend to start with sweet, then you go towards woody, but I'm beginning to like more sweet scents recently. Maybe a phase, but I this one is really good and I, I, I find this to be absolutely excellent value for money. Uh, I got this for $75 and uh, some places, Macy's and some other places can be a little bit more expensive. I got this from Amazon. So it was for a good price and I went for it. So $75 is what I paid, but this can go as high as $100 and gift sets, you know, tend to come in that range as well. There are smaller bottles available, it has come out with some other flankers that are uh, the most uh, well-known, maybe 1 million Lucky, 1 million Privé. The Privé was also a very nice one, but it's out of production, so you can't find it anymore easily, at least. And then there's uh, there's a couple of others I can't think of right now. The 1 million Lucky, what else? There's another one with a silver bottle. Can't, can't, does, it's not coming to my mind right now. But anyway, the perfumer behind this is Christian Dussolier uh, and Christoph, Christoph Reynard, Oliver, Olivier Peugeot. I'm probably butchering that name, sorry, by Michael Gerard. So yeah, so very, very sexy, very sweet fragrance, great for date night, great for clubbing. And, and uh, this, I personally think, is a very good addition to anyone's uh, fragrance collection. I do highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys again in another fragrance review. Take care. Bye-bye.